Hi everyone, it's Karen from Crafty Karen Designs and today I'm taking part in a video hop with some crafty colleagues in the Stamp Around UK group and the theme of this month's hop is showcasing DSP. So I chose the um, Playing With Patterns designer series paper and as you can see I've been cutting into it and I've used quite a bit of it already. Um, I'll, just, I'll give you a quick flick through. There's some really pretty um, papers, great to use on their own or as backing, backing layers behind other papers or cardstock or embellishments or whatever. But I think this is really pretty. Lots of nice bright colours but also some muted ones as well. Lots of stripes, circles, dots, spots. I think it's a really good all round um, paper that will be quite useful. comes as a um, 6x6 and there are lots and lots. I can't remember exactly how many um, sheets there are but I think there are about 40 sheets of it. There's lots anyway. <coughs> so showcase the DSP. Well there's, there's too many in that to showcase all of it. So I've just chosen a few bits. So this is the sample card that I made <coughs> and in this one you can see the ones that I've chosen are all striped. So I've got one for the background layer which is quite a wide ombre stripe and then we've got one on the diagonal which is a coastal cabana, shades of coastal cabana then this one is another stripe but going that way and this one is stripes and dots and then I've got a striped one as a layer behind the sentiment too and the sentiment I've used today is from the Tasteful Touches stamp set and it's the first time I've used this one but I thought this sentiment um, and this layout and these this DSP it would be quite good for um, masculine cards or people people who don't like the flowery pretty pretty cards just like the plainer cards I think that's quite a sweet sweet design so I'm going to give it a go but this time we're going to use spots so I'll show you how I made it so first of all we need a card base and this time I'm using Calypso Coral and the card base is eight and a quarter on the long side by five and seven eighths. I'm going to score that in the middle at four and one eighth. Like that. Fold and burnish that. There we go. Oh, and I forgot to show you on the inside of this one, we've got a little strip of yet another of the papers. Just for a bit of interest on the inside. So first of all, we need um, a background layer for the card. So this piece measures three and seven eighths by five and five eighths. And that one's going to go on there, so I'll put that one on straight away. And I'm using wet glue because I find it easier. Um, but I am going to get some of the new stamp and seal, um, which has replaced snail, um, just to give it a go, see what it's like. But I do prefer wet glue. I need a, a little bit of help sometimes getting it down straight. So if you've got a bit of wiggle room, that suits me fine. So while we're here, we'll put the inside piece, the whisper white layer on the inside to write message. So just add that. 
in the middle there. Straight as you can. And then I've got a strip to go along the side and I forgot to trim that so I'll just mark the end of that there. Chop it off with a pair of scissors. just gives you a bit, little bit of interest on the inside and a bit less space to have to write. I don't like too much white space in, inside because I can never think what to say. So now we need a piece to go diagonally across. So what I've done is I've got a piece of Calypso Coral which is one and a quarter by six and a quarter which is obviously far too much. Um, but I'm going to trim it off and the DSP is one inch by six inches. So I'm going to add that on there and then we'll stick it to the front of the card and then we'll cut the diagonal. Oh, I should have done that before I stuck that piece down, shouldn't I? Duh. Never mind. So this now is going to go across here. So because I'm a clown and forgot to do it beforehand, we'll mark along there with the bone folder. And along there too. I'll chop those off. fit across there like that. So we'll glue that down. There we go. So I hope you're all enjoying the new annual catalogue. There are some beautiful, beautiful stamp sets and papers. go so that's that piece. Now we need um, I've got a square piece to go on here. Give you another spotty print. And the card stock is three inches square and the DSP is two and seven eighths square. I'm just going to glue that to the centre of there. Well, you could add, start adding all these layers with dimensionals if you wanted to, to give it a bit more depth. But you just need to be mindful of the postage, because if it's too thick, it won't go through that slot in the, the guide at the post office, and you'll end up paying an extra, however much it is, for a large letter rather than a, a, an ordinary size one. So I'm going to put that on there, and I'm just going to glue mine down. no right or wrong with this, you can put all the layers wherever you want. This just happens to be an idea I got from a sketch challenge I was doing for something else. So now we need <coughs> a strip to go here. So I've got another spotty one. 
these are just these aren't filled in ones these are just um, outline spots but in all different colors I think there's Knights of Navy and Crushed Curry and Calypso Coral and Coastal Cabana so the card stock is one and one eighth by four and a half and the DSP is one inch by four and a quarter so we'll have that That. And I think I will use the dim dimensionals on this but just one at the top and one at the bottom because it's going over the top of that. So we'll have a dimensional at either end peel those backs off and we'll have that about there. There we go. Then we need a circular piece um, for the sentiment. I've already punched out a two and a quarter inch circle with the two and a quarter inch punch and I'm going to use the two inch punch to stamp out the um, wisp of white layer to go on the top. So as I said, using tasteful touches, and I'm going to use this one here, you are the best. And I think I'll stamp it in, should we go for Calypso Coral or should we go for Knight of Navy? We'll go for Knight of Navy, that might stand out better. We'll see, don't like it, we can always turn it over. Piece of card's got two sides. So this is just a scrap of Whisper White that I happen to have lying about. Let's have a look what that looks like. So we'll punch that out. think I think that's okay because I think if we'd have gone for the Calypso Coral it might have faded into the background a bit so I'm, I'm happy with that I'm gonna go with that I can pick it up so we'll add some glue to the back of that like that and then we'll put some dimensionals on the back of that. Oops. Take the backings off. Get off. These backings are all over the place. I find them everywhere. And we'll add that about there. And there you go. What do you think? So we've got one with spots and one with stripes. I think they're really cute and I think you could use this layout for lots and lots of different cards which would give you a, a completely different look whichever DSP you choose to use. So I hope you like it. All the measurements will be over on my blog at craftycarindesigns.blogspot.com later on today. Um, <clears throat> please click the button um, to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done already. I'd be really grateful. And please have a look for the link below the video for the rest of the um, videos on this video hop. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching. See you soon. Bye.